Oh, hi there. My name's Ben, and I'm an educator with Embracing Our Differences. A lot of students know about Embracing Our Differences because they've taken a free field trip to our annual outdoor art exhibit and seen one of the more than 50 billboard size artworks and quotations submitted by students and adults from around the world. Perhaps you even worked with your teacher to submit one of the more than 10,000 student artworks and quotations annually and had your artwork or quotation selected for our annual exhibit. So what is bucket filling and what does it mean to fill others' buckets? How about we let author and Embracing Our Differences friend Carol McLeod tell us more. Hello everybody, my name is Carol McLeod, although some people like to call me the bucket lady. Isn't that a funny name? But it's well deserved because I am always talking about buckets talking about them, thinking about them, and writing about them. And if you can see some of the books behind me, those are books that I have written about buckets. When we're bucket fillers, we're happier. And some people don't know about it. Maybe you do, but you're gonna be reminded or learn a lot more today. So I hope you all have a wonderful day reading together. And I'm hoping that you actually make that choice to be a bucket filler today and every day. Thank you, Carol. Now let's read about bucket filling with one of our friends from Manatee and Sarasota County. Teachers, if you'd like to pause the video at any time during the read along, please do not hesitate to do so. Are you ready? Let's go. Hello everyone. My name is Kelly Dine and I work at the Venice Theater. I'm so excited to be reading with you all today. Today, we're going to be reading Buddy the Bucket Filler, Daily Choices for Happiness, written by Maria Desmondi and Carol McLeod, and illustrated by Julia Seal. Let's get started. Buddy woke up earlier than usual. Today was the day he had been waiting for all summer. His dad was driving him to the country to stay with his great uncle Frank for a week. Buddy thought about the fun he had had with uncle Frank last summer and couldn't wait to get there. On the drive, Buddy's dad shared stories about his visits with Uncle Frank. My father died before I was your age, and Uncle Frank was always there for me. He taught me some valuable lessons. What lessons, Dad? Asked, Buddy asked. Everything from how to grow fruits and vegetables to how to treat others. He used to say, you win when you treat everyone with kindness and respect. Buddy jumped in. I have a word for that. Bucket filling. Uncle Frank is a bucket filler. I learned in school that whenever you say or do something kind for others, you fill their bucket. After they arrived and had lunch, Buddy's dad handed him this week's allowance from his chores back home. You never know what you might need it for, Dad told him. Then his dad left for the drive back to the city. The next day, Uncle Frank and Buddy were up before the sun to feed the farm animals, clean the chicken coop, and pick cherries. After washing up, Buddy followed Uncle Frank's lead to nap before heading to the town barbecue. At the barbecue, Uncle Frank introduced Buddy to Mrs. Mayo, the elementary school principal. Mrs. Mayo looked worried. Uncle Frank asked her if everything was okay. We've run out of barbecue sauce, she told them. What's a barbecue without barbecue sauce? Uncle Frank and Buddy could help. They returned to the farm 
and loaded the truck with several jars of homemade barbecue sauce. I had a bumper crop of tomatoes last year and went wild trying to use them all, Uncle Frank remembered. As the week flew by, Buddy told Uncle Frank about bucket filling. Buddy explained how everyone has an invisible bucket that holds their happiness. When we are good to someone, we fill their buckets with a little more happiness and that fills our buckets too. Very true, replied Uncle Frank. Buddy and Uncle Frank filled buckets all week. Uncle Frank gave a lost visitor directions to his relative's farm. Buddy helped Uncle Frank's neighbor carry her groceries. They shared their cherries with a mother at the ball field. On Buddy's last day, they went out to breakfast at a cafe. Uncle Frank introduced Buddy to their waitress, Opal. Then he asked Buddy to look around and notice every face. Do you see anyone sitting alone who looks a little sad? I think that woman in the gray sweater looks sad, Buddy answered. Opal dropped off the bill when, when Buddy felt his allowance, money in his pocket. He thought about the candy or toys it could buy. Then Buddy realized something. Maybe we can buy that lady her meal, he whispered. Uncle Frank replied, great idea, but it's not about us. So let's ask Opal to say her bill was paid for by strangers after we leave. Buddy put everything in his pocket on the table, paying for her entire meal. Uncle Frank beamed at Buddy. Wow, seeing you fill her bucket fills my bucket too. Buddy felt happy and warm inside. He had done what he had most wanted to do. On the ride to the city, Buddy talked the entire way, telling his dad about the people he met and his tremendous fun with Uncle Frank. What were Buddy's happiest memories? You guessed it, filling buckets. Buddy thought about how he had a chance to fill buckets every day. He had learned that the more you fill, the happier you are. So, whose bucket will you fill today? The end. Now that you've learned about bucket filling and so much more, how would you like to take the Bucket Fillers Pledge and learn about the Bucket Fillers Challenge from our author? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go! So I would like you to take your right hand and raise it to the sky as high as you can. And then I want you to move it down to the opposite side of your chest and place it over your heart. And I'm going to invite you to join the Bucket Fillers Club by reciting this pledge and making a promise to yourself that you're gonna do your best to follow these secrets to happiness. So I want you to think about the words you're saying as you repeat them after me. I promise to do my best every day to be a bucket filler, not to dip, and to use my lid for myself and others at home, at school, and everywhere I go. Congratulations, boys and girls. You are officially in the Bucket Fillers Club. By saying those words and meaning them, of course, you are in a very special group of students and grown-ups and people all around the world. 
who have made a promise to follow these rules so that their bucket will always be full. You've learned how to fill buckets and you've learned how to keep them full. And that is such an important part of your happiness. I would like to give you what I call the bucket filling challenge. And here's the challenge. And actually, we, we sort of set it right in the book. And that is that I want you to get into action. I want you to fill a bucket today just because you read this book. I want you to think of one person whose buckets you can fill today. Something over and above what you would normally do. But think of one person. You can do more, of course, but one person in particular. And then I want you to think of what you could do that could fill their bucket. It could be something you say, like, I think you're the best teacher in the world, or I love you, grandma. It could be something that you do, like help someone, just give someone a surprise, whether it's something that you made, just a secret that you give someone that's just a, something that you know will make them happy. It doesn't have to cost any money. It can just be something that comes from your heart. And I want you to fill a bucket today. And when you fill their bucket, I want you to notice two things. I want you to notice how you feel inside. Because that warmth you feel inside, that's your bucket filling up. And then I want you to notice or even think about how do you think the other person, do you think you filled their bucket too? Thank you for joining us today to learn more about bucket filling and how we can create school communities full of kindness and respect. For more bite-sized lessons and videos, visit embracingourdifferences.org, and we hope to see you at our annual outdoor art exhibit. Until then, bye for now.